Thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> can't herd, can't swim. And we're live. Welcome back to part 10 of Marston Mondays, where we free roam with John in Epilogue 2. And look at this gorgeous view of early morning Blackwater. John was up all night working on the Instagram. He wanted to do a Blackwater by Night series. Let's get started. What happened to our horse? Well, that could have gone better. However, we cannot blame the horse. It is always operator error. Sir! I ain't got time for this. We are off to Lagra to buy some special lures because it's time to knock out some legendary fish. Welcome to my shop, mister. Enjoy! You're very kind. This is the first time the Tiger Mustang has been this far east, and she is understandably freaked out by the local wildlife. But this is interesting. <laughs> Who was Martha? And hello, alligator alert. John will shoot him in the tail so he'll move on. And back to Martha. I bet this location is a hundred times spookier at night. I do like these photos and this wreath of dried flowers. We can take the apple and bourbon, but I wouldn't want to risk a voodoo curse. Better leave things as they are. Here is our location north of the A in Lagra and northeast of the bait shop. Watch out for gators. And I thought as long as we are in the neighborhood, why not grab the shrunken head when we saw this hanged man? And you know what's next. The good news is the night folk are usually only armed with knives and machetes. The bad news is they don't make a sound and they are really scary. Not used to seeing them during the day, however. Lucky for us. <laughs> okay. They don't have that much cigarettes because it's very stressful living in the swamp. And we might as well shoot this poor fella down. He 
He has a letter. Night Folk Victim's Note. If you find this, I am dead. The Night Folk haunted my dreams, and now they haunt my waking hours. I have tried to evade them, but it is only a matter of time, I feel, before I am bested. The silence is overwhelming. Pray for me. So spooky, even during the day, and so much worse at night. Let's move on. And back to Le Kay. So many supplies here, and I don't mind stealing from the night folk because John hates them. and the shrunken head is in this jar. Here's what it looks like before it goes into your satchel. And this is one item that actually looks better in the satchel, or at least the illustration gives you a better look. And here is the location of the shrunken head. A sentence I never thought I would have the occasion to say aloud. Plenty more supplies in the main cabins. Don't know if it's worth it. However, here is Arthur's old bunk. We can actually sleep here if you want to spend the night in the swamp.
at how the wax has dripped over these shelves. Very atmospheric. And again, so much spookier at night. As for John, let's go fishing. Fishing in this game is surprisingly enjoyable as an activity, but I'm not sure how much fun it is as video content, which is why I have never made a fishing video, at least one I can recall. So remember, like Tom Cruise as Jack Reacher said, you wanted this. We shall stop at the middle of this bridge. This is one of the most challenging legendaries to fish. We probably should have started with an easier one. But John likes to do everything the hard way. Got some. Here we go. Special Lake Lure will hook him, but reeling him in is an entirely different proposition. Gotta be kidding me! And he got away. But as long as we have these special lures, we can hook him again. We don't have to wait a day for him to respawn like hunting legendaries. Very convenient. Okay. No! No way! Line's gone. And a train is coming. We should be fine.
You're off. Here he is again. There he goes. Let's try once more. Didn't say it. And a public service announcement in case you have forgotten. John can't swim. Let's try that again, shall we? Beautiful! Shit, yes! That is a huge fish and a lot of work, but is that really cause for swearing? I don't recall Arthur swearing when he caught this fish. The legendary Lake Sturgeon, 46 pounds. Large sturgeon can live for decades. The area southwest of Santini is known for large catches on any special lure. And that thing looks like a dinosaur. Look at his rigid back. Let's mail this baby off. And look, the horse missed us and is running to greet John. A little bit worried about having her on the tracks, however. Sir! I'll take anything you got for me. You can count on delivery. Back to the post office, one fish for Jeremy. And then this was interesting. John took the horse into the stable office without activating the cutscene. Regrettably, there is nothing here. We can break into the cash register if you are so inclined. I like
like this painting. Looks like tall trees. I wanted to swap out the Mustang for Rachel. It stands to reason if there are good horses for hunting, there are probably good horses for fishing. I have no evidence to support it, but I feel thoroughbreds are excellent hunters in the sense that three star animals of all kinds seem to spawn more with a thoroughbred, at least for me. Your experience may vary, but I know if I'm working on a satchel or doing the master hunter challenge, I want a thoroughbred, preferably the brindle. And on our way to the legendary Bluegill, John stopped another train robbery in progress. So hard to spot the hostiles. One more left. Let's see how he likes a stick of dynamite in the face. And then we'll let these horses go. John feels bad for scaring them. Next up, the legendary Bluegill. Here is our location, southwest of the Arran Roads on the shore of Flatiron Lake. Yes. Look how fast we got this one in about a minute. Compare with the endless casts and recasts for the sturgeon. Maybe thoroughbreds are decent at fishing. The legendary bluegill, four pounds two ounces. Large size bluegill can grow up to twelve inches long and are known to reside in Flatiron Lake. Use a special lake lure. And note, we can throw them back if you really like fishing. Wish we could do that with the actual legendaries, the ones you hunt, the ones that count. Let's throw them back and see how fast we can get them again.
And it looks like Rachel is the horse for fishing. Yes! <laughs> Right with you. Need me to send something? Well, look who we have here. Back home at Blackwater with another fish to post. And it looks like John needs a shave. This video is sponsored by Batman Tonio, my second gaming channel where I play all the video games I enjoy that are not Red Dead Redemption 2. Like and subscribe for deep dive gaming commentaries where I overanalyze and focus on the details. And then at the stable we went back to a black mohawk. I really like the contrasting manes and tails on the Arabians, but John feels Rachel likes the natural look. Mm -hmm. Take care of that nag. Come back and see me. Good girl. Hey, get out of my way. Hi there, come on in. So what'll it be today? At the Barbers, the only disadvantage for camping at Beecher's Hope is we cannot shave there. And we might as well get some hair pomade. John prefers the Spartan because he is a champion, my friend. Well, I guess we're all done here. <laughs> You know what to do, girl. It's a... Buenos dias, senor. How are you, ladies? Hola, senor. Buenos dias. Okay there. Morning to you. And then back home we can check out our new weapons locker. We need the Volcanic and the M1899, of course. Say goodbye to the Schofield and this random cattleman. We shall keep John's cattleman, pass on the double action, keep the sawed off, say goodbye to the double barreled, no thank you to the pump action. I was going to keep the semi auto, but we have the repeating shotgun, and John does love his repeaters. Lancaster, yes. Evans, no. Carbine, no. Springfield, yes. Farmant, don't really need it right now. Love the bolt action for a combat or a wolf attack. We'll keep the bow because Charles gave it to us and we love Charles. Rolling block, pass. 
Carcano, no thank you, and we shall also say adios to the rare rolling block. Nice, John feels lighter already. And look, Uncle kindly left us a plate of stew that we cannot interact with. Nice of him to think of us. And this looks like a good place for us to stop. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. I'm thinking about a Dark Bay Turcoman for John. Perhaps we should check out the Blackwater stables and see if they have any females. I'll see you next week. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Give it a rest, will ya? We ain't kids no more. No, never really was.